Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, a questionable commitment. Let the unrighteous continue to be unrighteous and the vile continue to be vile. Let the righteous continue to practice righteousness and the holy continue to be holy. Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give each one according to his work. Revelation 22, 11 through 12. It is not a mystery that man was made to work. If we should go back into the beginning, we see that God made Adam, placed him in the garden, gave him the responsibility to dress the garden and keep it. Working is a part of our nature. We live in a society today which offers many type of jobs. But all jobs have a basic principle. You work and you get pay. If you don't work, you don't get pay. We have been called to serve God, but we have also been called to provide for our families. But I submit to you that there are those who their commitment to their work has far exceeded their commitment to God. We have a tendency to be committed to things only when it will cost us something. So persons will work if they know that they will lose their jobs. And if they don't have a job, then they can't feed their families. They can't provide a roof over their heads. Many of us are more committed to our temporary jobs than we are committed to God and to the ministry. And let us make a comparison to see how we operate at work and how we operate in the ministry. In whatever job you do temporarily, this still applies. But I believe those who work in the cost center arena can relate directly to this. Many of you, when you're late for work, you make a big dash, rushing, trying to make sure that you get to work on time. If you have an 8 a.m. shift, you have to be there 5 to 10 minutes before in order for you to be qualified as being early. But then if we're late for church, I get there when I get there. Many of us, no matter how late we are for church, we'll do whatever we have to do and then drag ourselves to church. Many of you, if you're absent for work, you'll be given a warning. And if it continues, ultimately, you'll be sent home. Some of us have church services only two times per week, and many times we're not present even in one of those services. Many of you have to leave your phones and papers and all sorts of different things at the security desk because they don't want you to bring any form of distraction on the job. And even when you're on your lunch break, if you're going to be on your phone, you have to be on silent. In church, we allow our phones to ring, even during the Bible study, even during the preaching, or no matter what is happening in the service. And some of us don't even have enough respect to even cut the phone off. No, we answer the phone from even in church and then we walk out talking on the phone. At your workplace, you're graded for how ready you are to answer a call and how well you handle a call. You're also given a script that you have to follow. You can't add anything and you can't take away anything. And if you do, you stand the risk of losing 50% of your bonus or losing it all together. Yet when it comes to the ministry, we never open our mouth and witness to somebody telling them about the goodness of Jesus. At your workplace, they have a KPI score based on attendance, performance, knowledge, and punctuality. If you score poorly, then you run the risk of losing your bonus. In other words, you're going to be paid according to your work. I submit to you today, child of God, that the Lord is also taking an account of our performance, attendance, knowledge. He's taking account of our commitment to Him. God doesn't want us to give Him what's left. God wants us to give Him the best first. Can I say today, we all need to do an introspection. We all need to grade ourselves. The scripture reminds us that God is keeping record of all what we do. He's going to be paying us according to our work. All the times we've missed Sunday school, all the times we've missed service, all the times we could have witnessed to somebody and tell them about the Lord and didn't. So today I'm encouraging you, take out your pen, take out your paper, and just like you're graded at work, begin to grade yourself. I submit to you today that if your conscience tells you that you're in such a position, then there's still hope. Give God that which is best. The thought of the day, whatever state you're in when the Lord puts in his appearance, you will be paid accordingly. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light and the darkness.